Hello everyone and welcome to my room. Um, I am just here to show you guys what's in my bag this year. I haven't done a what's in my bag video for a while so I felt like it was finally time. So here we go. Okay everyone, so this is my bag. It is a bag that I actually got from Walmart. <laughs> It's actually quite exciting because it's really really functional even though it only has a few pockets but the way I use it it serves its purpose it's great for school it's great for when I'm on the go like today for instance today we're going to a party that my sister's having for my nephew and so it requires me to prepare a lot I have to get the kids ready I had to get ready I started really early because I was feeling really fancy to get this all worked out and finished. I had to get my daughter's hair done. Just a lot of stuff. So, sorry, I'm going to go back to the video. So, the first thing that I guess I'll start, well, I'll start over here with these fun little bags that I also got from Walmart. I absolutely love these bags because they can hold a lot and they're see-through with these awesome unicorns on them. I really love that so much because they're so pretty and um, it's obviously because it's pink. If you notice everything I have is pretty much pink. So okay so the first thing I have is I have my mittens, my paw mittens that I love so much because sometimes my hands get cold but I want my fingers to be out so I can use my phone or you know grab a tissue or something for my kids whenever I need to. I have my favorite summer summer spray I love cotton candy I love the way it smells it's so fun so smells so good I love it so much so have that in there so next I have my deodorant because obviously ladies we don't want to get funky so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything over here so you can see how much it carries which is really a lot okay and then I have my feminine wipes are really really nice to have and then I have my squishy because it's really good when your kids are just irritating you and you just really need something to squeeze on and just oh, without digging your nails and killing your fingers and your, your your actual palms so this is really nice to have as you can see I've already squeezed the crap out of it because the design that was on top was kind of like a squiggly um, sugar kind of design but yeah that's gone so I'm gonna set that aside as well. And then, let me just scoot this back over. And that way I can just pull this out and you can see it. It's so clear, right? And then I have tissues because I actually do need these on a daily basis sometimes just to remove eye buggers and stuff from my kids. And then I have one of these, it's a Disney Princess expandable towel. So basically you just put this in water and you've got a makeshift towel immediately and I love the Disney princess design because you guys know that's my thing because I like being God's princess. Okay, so um, let's see. Jehovah God has my back. So I have a file here that I never actually used and I ended up having to take out the tweezers and the... Well, actually, I have used it a couple of times, but I had to take the tweezers and the um, nail clippers out because I ended up having to go to court, and I forgot you have to take that stuff out of your stuff, so I ended up just throwing it away because I wasn't about to walk, like, another three blocks just to get back to my car where I had to park forever away because I didn't want to pay parking. <laughs> Okay, now, other than that, let's see, I have mascara, some obvious products that I've been using today because I'm trying out this new thing where I wear makeup. So, this is mascara, and this is lipstick and a gloss that goes over it. I'm gonna use, I need some of this right now, actually. I need some of that in a little bit. But then I have a mirror, and it opens, and it's two sided that sort of thing. It's really nice. And then because uh, these are my favorite pair of earrings so I'm really paranoid about losing like 
one of them while I'm out because that's happened to me before and it really, really sucks when you look at yourself and nobody all day has told you that you're missing an earring and you look crazy. So um, I've invested in another earring because I am not going to have that happen to me again. I am going to sporadically look in my mirror and know that I am wearing two earrings at all times and not looking like a crazy person with just one earring. So yes, I keep one extra earring inside of my purse because of that fear. So that's there. And then I just have an eyeliner pencil here. And that is the the entirety of this bag. That's all that I carry in here. Which is really, really nice because that's a lot of stuff that I have in just one spot. It's all I specific isolated items that I want to keep together and separate from other things in my bag. The last thing that I've learned to keep in my purse is an extra scrunchie just because a lot of times I've had scrunchies break on me while I've been out just because I've been tightening my hair because it'll get loose throughout the day. So that's everything that is in that bag. And then I have another one that is exactly similar to it that I use for my planner supplies or my um, various office supplies that I need on the go. And the first thing that I have in here, of course you guys will know, is washi tape. And it's this really pretty sprinkle ice cream dripping design. I really like it. It's good for many different things and most people seem to really like it when they see it and I use it for random things while I'm out and about just for like um, you know giving people my YouTube name since I don't have any cards yet but I really like to use this for various things. Other than that I have a number of various pens and markers. I have a, just a regular Crayola marker that's lost all of its writing on the outside. I have a Pentel pen, a Stadler pen, I have a Dollar Tree pen, didn't really have a logo, and then I have a tool pen from Office Depot, there is a U Brands gel pen that's white, and then I have another one of those Dollar Tree pens, or Dollar General pens, and um, I'm not really sure where I even got this from, it's a Just Dream 101, it's a red pen. And then this is a pen that I got from Daiso. It was a part of a compass set that was for that had rulers in it. And then I have a third pen that's from the Dollar General. And then I have some flags here. And a lot of times there's a lot of stuff that's just in my purse from my planner that will fall out and I can just put it here so that I can replace it when I need to. I have color pencils here. Just general color pencils. I have paper clips galore. I have even more washi tape that's just sprinkle design, so that matches the other washi, washi tape that I have. Okay, and I also have these adorable highlighters that I got from Target. They have these cute little faces on there. That one's a unicorn. There's a unicorn and just this cute little happy face. I thought those were adorable little additions to have on the go. And I actually do use them in another book that I have in another bag that I have somewhere in my purse. So I have clear tape and then I have this adorable donut tape. So that makes four washi tapes so far. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump this because it's just a lot of stuff. So I emptied out the bag and this is what I have in there. Um, you already saw that stuff. So... I have my watch that I usually wear. It's one of those digital watches. It's really cool because it lights up. And then I have some notes that I took from my daughter's art. Um, it was just a bunch of different stuff that I wanted to write down, things that they were working on with her that I wanted to introduce at home. So I thought that that was really interesting and important, and I wanted to make sure that I kept note of where that was. So I put it in that bag so that I wouldn't forget. And then I have some sticky notes, and they um, are dot grid, they're, and it's pink. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot, I think, a while back. And then I have these that I got from... 
think I got these from Michaels. Um, they're a really cute design. I really liked how vintage they were. And I just, I use them for almost anything and everything. They're great for a lot of the designs that I usually use in my, in my Mega Planner or any of the other planners I have. And this is from the Target Dollar Spot, of course, and I use these for various other things too. And then as you can see, I just have a bunch of binder clips. I have some stickers that I um, kind of laminated myself that I use over and over again, white out, uh, more clips that I got from Dollar Tree. This adorable burger, um, paper clip that I made and then I just have you know another pen that got lost somewhere and more paper clips so that is what I keep in this baggie this other bag that is from Walmart these unicorn bags I love them so much because I can just put everything in them I can find everything just so easily I can just look in here and be like, okay, I need that. It's on this side, so it's on this corner. Let me make sure I reach in over here and not way over here thinking it's somewhere else. And so I put everything back except for the notes that I'm going to be putting into my daughter's binder so that I can create a sort of lesson plan for her over the summer so that she does not lose any information while we are at summer... While we're... While we're in summer vacation or while we're at summer... Not at, what's the right acronym here? What's there is a very crucial preposition that I'm missing here, and I'm not sure which one to use. While we're we're attending summer vacation, let's go with that. Okay, everyone, I've been informed that it's on summer break. So those are the first two bags that I have in my bag. So <laughs> the next bag that I have is another clear plastic bag. I love it so much. I got it from the Target dollar spot and it serves its purpose so well. It's mermaids just want to have sun. I love that so much as you guys have seen on my Instagram channel that I have been doing a lot with stickers and stuff that have come from the Target dollar spot. Um, particularly these um, mermaids. I, I love mermaids. Loved the Little Mermaid. That was my favorite Disney movie in the world. Disney, Disney movie in the world, and um, so that was what inspired me to grab this. And I really like it because it has this sparkliness to it too. So and it's really just nice. And I just have an extra thing of sticky notes here. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby because they have some really good stuff occasionally. And um, this was something that I saw and I just, I, I, I practically died when I saw it. I just had to get it. And then there was another one that I have in, at my desk that, um, oh my gosh, it's bent. It's a pet peeve of mine. But, um, but I have the other one at my desk, so I keep that there. And then I have, this is like my book bag. This is like any book that I'm reading currently, I keep it in here. And then I just keep a place where I can actually write notes on that book if I need to. This is also kind of a running to-do list as well. I wanted to make it a running to-do list, but I ch ended up changing it into just being a place where I can keep my notes. And I um, have to thank my wonderful um, planner friends for that because um, they keep giving me wonderful things that I can use all the time. And currently I'm reading um, Benjamin Franklin's autobiography. I am almost halfway through it. I have actually been using those highlighters that I have for various parts in the book so that I can keep track of what it is that I'm reading. And I've actually been taking quite a few notes and um, I actually have a specific section in this TN that I created specifically for my book reading. Excuse me, I hate sniffing. It's really an annoying habit. But um, I have this TN. I got these books um, from Dollar Dollar. It was Dollar General Dollar, I think. No, it was not Dollar General Dollar. It was Family Dollar. That was the one. But um, I got these from there, and I just have a couple of different decorations, and then I haven't gotten into it as much as I would like to. I've been doing a lot of reading lately, and this is just the reading that I do freelance for the fun of it. 
Um, I have a lot of reading that I have to do for school and just in general reading for my kids and their um, various things that they have going on. So I have a lot of stuff that I have to attend to, so I'm not able to do everything that I want to as much as I would like to, which is the sad reality of my world is that I have so much going on that I am unable to keep up with everything and document it at the way I want to. So this is the first thing I have, The Art of Virtue. That was the book that I was reading earlier last year and all the way into the year. And I really loved how it came out. I just really hated that I got this book wet. So that's why I have moved this book into a specific container so that it does not ever get wet again. Because I was very hurt when I saw how horribly messed up my work got. Even though it was slightly minimal, it really, really bothered me and it actually deterred me a lot from reading because it was wet and it got, you know, it really just got messed up. It's so sad. But anyway, um, I still do plan to continue on in this book and finish off reading that book. I have all of my notes here and I just have to replace them in these books because I was actually working in a different book than this one before. As you can see, the pages are a lot longer. So um, I just transferred it in here because I wanted it to be compact and, you know, a place where I can store it in my purse without it being too out of the way and too just big. So other things that I have going on in here, I use this book here for um, writing down all the words that I do not understand or that I, I have never seen before. And it's really important to do that, especially, I mean, Benjamin Franklin even said it in the book that he has, um, The Art of Virtue, saying that, you know, it's important to actually have a dictionary or something of that nature. I just keep my phone so that I can Google the word very easily, and I just write it down here afterwards so that I can retain that information so that I'm not losing information constantly. It's a pet peeve of mine to forget words that I like and want to use on a daily basis. So that's what I have in that in that particular bag and this lovely lovely thing is just with me whenever I have something that I'm doing and I'm bored or just have nothing to do or I don't feel like watching TV or anything so that's that and then the next thing I have is just um, you guys have seen this in my last what's in my bag video I just kind of have a traveling first aid kit it has napkins um, it has cotton swabs it band-aids, it has buggy wipes, it has just about everything you can think of that you might need in order to take care of any sort of problem that may occur from any orifice on any person. So um, that's what I really liked about having this bag because it has been very useful in the past, especially with my kids. So that's what that is, and that is four bags so far in this bag, and there are still more to come. I have keys here, keys for the car, keys for the house and various other places, a bunch of keychains. Um, this houses a bunch of other keys that I use for various other things. That's a cute little Susan G. Coleman key that I have and I really like that one. It was really fun to have. Here's a binder clip that got misplaced so as you know I'm just going to put it in this use it when I need to and that just keeps us moving right along I'm very guilty for having this in here um they're dum-dums I just bought these the other day and they were specifically for my kids but I ended up eating like four of them last night but I still have them in here for my kids I know bad autism mommy I'm not supposed to be feeding them these because they have red color number whatever and blue color number whatever and yellow color number whatever in there and gluten and all kinds of other stuff but oh my gosh I can't help but feed my kids whatever I feel like every now and then because it's really hard and difficult to try to find gluten free candy and candy that has no color I mean yes I can go to the health food store or let's see Whole Foods or something like that but let's face it that stuff is really expensive and so I also have this EOS lotion here this was just supposed to be in that exact same bag that housed everything else that's in my toiletry section of things that I carry with me. So I just put that back in there. Okay, and so the next thing I have is just kind of a towel handkerchief type deal that I keep with me for, you know, just any type of 
bodily fluid that I just don't want to deal with. Rather than carry paper towels or use tissue for every little thing, this is good to have for like if you get wet or if it starts raining and you want to dab yourself off. So um, that's just another thing that I keep in there. And then the next thing that I have is kind of a purse organizer that I created myself from some fabric that I had. And I just created pockets that I can just put various things in. Um, this, these are some sticky notes that I have that are Susan G. Coleman. Really like those. And then I just have a, it's, this came from Dollar Tree a long time. And yes, it's broken, but yes, I still use it because it still serves its purpose. It just holds coins. And so I just keep that in there. And yes, I do have coins that I keep in my purse, but I also have extra ones that I keep there as well. And then I just have a card in there. Um, and then after that, I just have a pen in this pocket. I really love using this pen. It's... I forgot where, oh, I got this from Daiso. That's where I got this from. And then I have a binder clip here because you can never have enough binder clips. And inside I just have a water bottle that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 and I really, really loved the design. I loved the hearts and how they were kind of crayoned in it almost looked like. And then I loved the wooden top look. So, And it is actually wood so that was really cool for me. So I really liked that. And then I just have my wallet which I believe I have already done a video showing you guys what's inside my wallet so if you haven't seen that go ahead and check it out I will leave a link down below in the description for the video link and then I this is just a random receipt that I usually try to keep inside of my wallet until I try to either put it somewhere where I need to return an item or in my organized receipts container which I'll show you guys when I do a financial video which feels like I'm never ever gonna get to any other kind of video other than you know what's going on currently because things are constantly changing for me so um, other than that I just have obviously various other receipts here and there but then I have this notes to self book that I got from the Target dollar spot I really really liked it it went with a mug that I had that unfortunately ended up getting destroyed because I forgot I left it on top of my car one and I just drove off. So um, <laughs> sadly that is gone but I do have this and it's really really helpful for me because I can just jot down notes as they come. This came from a bunch of notes that I was taking when I was in all of these different meetings that we had this week. Um, we had um, a doctor's appointment for my boys because they had their monthly checkup that they had with their psychiatrist so they could get new medications. And then we had ARD meetings, three ARD meetings within the last eight days. So that's been really trying for me, but um, I've taken all of those notes and I've put them in various other places like my boys binder. And you saw the notes that I had from previously that I took from my daughter's ARD. And I just have those here and I can actually just keep them here because I do plan on putting them elsewhere and I want to know where they are. I don't want to just keep them inside of that bag inside of my wallet forever. So I have a marker that I have here for this week and I'm just going to stick them right here so that I can put them wherever they need to go later. And I just, I will go over this one of these days. I just, I don't have time for that this video. So it's just literally a notes to self book so I can write out notes as soon as I need to so I don't have to take out my entire planner. And that's the very last thing that I have is the bag that I got from the Target Dollar Spot a while ago during February, I believe, where it says fabulous, have fabulous plans. And it is the cutest bag I've ever seen and I had to have it because I felt like it would be perfect to hold my Mega Planner and lo and behold, it was the absolute perfect size to hold my Mega Planner and then some. So I really, really liked having it because I can actually fit regular sized sheets of paper in here, which was perfect for when I went to the ARD meetings that I had this week where I got a bunch of regular size paper. This is the safeguard notice that they give you every single time you go to an ARD meeting or something like that. Autism mommies, you know what I'm talking about. 
And then I also have, I mean, if you ha want to see videos of my Mega Planner, I do have videos, and I will post links down below so you guys can see that, but I don't have time to show you that either. I have not shown you guys a bit a good video of this book. It is pretty much like my... Uh, kind of like a personal human handbook, kind of like what I want to get accomplished from, um, on a daily basis, weekly basis, or anything like that. I've showed pictures of it on my Instagram where I actually try to give you guys an idea of my routines that I try to follow, um, you know, just when to do my nails, when to do my hair, when I try to get certain things done, um, you know, any sort of appointments that we may have, things that I need to remember. I have this trigger list. So I will go over that one of these days too, but I keep that with me sometimes so that I can add to it. Either that or just to have it with me so that I remember certain things that I want to get accomplished throughout the day. And that is the gist of what I keep in here. I got these. These are just kind of return to school notices for my boys. And then I just have various other little things in pockets. I have um, just that notepad that I had for my daughter's notes there. I have this little book here where I write little things that I see when I'm walking around or traveling or doing any random little thing in public. On the side, I have a bunch of watercolor mark uh, watercolor markers, um, brush tip markers that I use to decorate my planner with. And I just really like using those. They're really, really um, versatile, and they have great colors. Um, they came from Walmart. I think they were like five, $5.99 or something like that. And then other than that, I just have my, uh, my charger. This charger is actually pretty – it really, really does help. It gives me an, an extra, like, hour of juice. And then I just have the cord that goes with it and more of the brush mark brush tip markers that I have. And I just, I love using all of these things. I've got more pens and stuff in here. I have um, my headphones that I keep in here too, just in case I want to listen to music. And it's um, a place that doesn't allow for loud music or, you know, for you to have your phone, you know, just making a bunch of noise. So other than that, I don't have anything else really in my bag. I have my sunglasses and my lip gloss here. Um, these are Hello Kitty sunglasses. I love these so much. I finally found them again after ordering them from somewhere. I don't remember if it was Amazon, but then they got broken. And then I ended up finding them at a thrift store for a dollar. It was so weird and so cool. But then this is my favorite lip gloss. It came from Victoria's Secret, I believe. Yes. I still use this. I still have it. I only use it ever so often. I don't really need to use lip gloss unless it's like really really dry outside oh and um this is the last thing i didn't show you i just have a plastic bag that i've kind of um just squeezed all the air out of it to keep an extra shirt just in case because i have lost a mini a shirt simply because i constantly get sneezed on or stuff dripping on me from the kids or just all kinds of stuff and it's good to have when you're out and about and you don't know what's going to happen especially at a kids party where there could be all kinds of sticky gooey messes and um yeah so that is everything that is in my bag you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that everything was appealing to you and i hope i might have inspired somebody to have something specific that may be trying them in their own life and you know this might be helpful in some way shape or form so i will see you guys on the next video and i hope that everything stays happy and healthy with you guys so remember to stay meticulous until next time bye